This is a probe lens. And if you've been around our channel for a little while, you'll know that we like this lens quite a bit. This looks so good. So when Lau reached out to us asking if we want to try out their set of new generation probe lenses, we were quite excited to put them to the test. For quite a while, I've had the idea to get a specific shot that these new probe lenses would be perfect for. So let me break it down for you. I've always thought that it would be so cool to film a pizza commercial, but for the final shot in the sequence, we get a shot where the pizza is being placed in the oven and the camera gets pulled through the back of the oven. So we decided to turn that idea into reality. To do it, we went to Facebook Marketplace and found a broken oven for $50. Then we whipped out the reciprocating saw and cut a hole in the back of the oven. <laughs> but we couldn't just get this one shot and be done with it. So we decided to film a couple more scenes so we could make a complete pizza B-roll sequence. And for an added challenge, we filmed the entire thing just using the new probe lenses to put them to the test. Now, let me introduce you to the new probe lenses. Laua has released three new probe lenses. We've got the straight probe, the 35 degree angled probe, and the periscope probe. Let's start with the straight probe. This is essentially the upgraded version of the original probe lens that's been out for the last couple of years, but there are a couple of differences. The first is that the new probe lens now has an aperture of T8, which is quite nice because it allows you to get more light into the lens so you can shoot in darker places. Whenever we shoot with the old probe lens, we would always need to go outside in the sunlight or use a giant light, so this is quite nice. Now, because of the lower aperture, the barrel of the lens is a little bit thicker on the new version. We didn't see this as being a huge issue because we never really ran into instances where we think that the new probe lens couldn't fit, but the old one could. However, although the new lens is a little bit thicker, it is also longer. This new version of the probe lens is only about 3.5 inches longer than the old version, but they've changed the proportions of the lenses so that the waterproof section of the lens is almost twice as long. And the last major difference is that the new version of the lens doesn't have the LED light ring at the tip anymore. Honestly, this isn't really the biggest deal in my opinion. I found that we never really used the LED light ring on the old lens anyways. I think getting this book shot when we were testing out the lens when we first got it is literally the only time that we've actually used it. Okay, so next up is this guy, which is the 35 degree angle probe lens. This is the exact same as the straight probe lens, except the tip is angled at 35 degrees. This allows you to get some pretty unique angles and you can also use the lens in some pretty tight spaces when you wouldn't be able to use the straight probe. For example, in our B-roll sequence, we got this shot where we open the door and pull out a can opener. But for this shot, we want to get an upwards angle, which would have been nearly impossible to get with the straight probe lens unless we cut the bottom out of the drawer. Something that's interesting about the 35 degree probe and the periscope probe is that you can actually rotate the lens element to point in any direction that you want using the included tool. This allowed us to rotate the lens so that it was pointing in the perfect spot for the shot that we wanted to get. The last lens in the kit is this guy. This is the Periscope Probe Lens, and it looks pretty crazy. This is the most unique lens in the kit, and it is also the most specialty. This is similar to the straight probe lens in that you can get a shot facing forward, but it has an angled tube so the camera doesn't have to be right behind the lens. I'm gonna be honest, this was our least used lens, uh, and I don't even think we actually used it for our B-roll sequence, primarily because it was so specialty and specific. Since we were just using a camera slider with these lenses, the periscope lens didn't allow us to do anything that the other lenses weren't already capable of. I could see this lens being really good if you had a robot arm to use it with and not just a camera slider, but we don't have hundred grand for a robot arm. Something that's interesting about all of these lenses is that they all have waterproof tips. This means that you can put the whole front end underwater all the way up to the red line. This also made it really easy for us to clean the lenses and we didn't have to worry about getting them covered in tomato sauce. Okay, so now that you know all about these lenses, it's time to get shooting. For this whole shoot, we want to keep it pretty simple. So for the lighting, we mainly just used a single overhead light source with a softbox, and for the camera, we did most of our shots on a slider. When using the probe lens, something like a slider or even a robot arm is quite important just because it's almost impossible to use these lenses freehand. I have seen some people use these lenses on a gimbal and we've actually tried that ourselves before, but it can be a little bit tricky but it is an option. One of the more creative shots that we got for the video was where we took out a pane of glass from a picture frame, put it on the edge of a table, and got a shot of the tomato sauce pouring onto the lens. 
Another rather creative shot that the probe lenses actually helped us get was a shot from inside the cheese grater. This is where the 35 degree angled probe was actually perfect because the periscope probe wouldn't fit and the straight probe didn't give us the right look. And after all of that, it was time to get the oven shot. To make the shot look as good as we can, we brought the oven into our kitchen so the background looked like we were in an actual kitchen. What we've done is we've taken this oven and we've actually, if you look back there, we've cut a hole right through it. So uh, you can see right through the oven there. And the idea here is seeing the pizza going into the oven and we film it from a probe lens pulling out the back of the oven and then the door closing. For the shot, we wanted to attach the pizza to the front of the lens so we could get this locked off look when we place the pizza into the oven. To build the rig, we used a clamp, a magic arm, a cheese plate, and a little bit of double-sided tape, and we put it all together. And once the pizza was attached to the lens, we were good to go. Inside the oven, we had a small light panel on the top and bottom of the oven to light up the inside as well as give an orange glow to make it look like the element was on. My job was to then lean through the hole in the back of the oven as far as I could go, holding the camera, lens, and pizza while Steven guided the pizza into position and closed the door. It took us a couple tries to get right, but eventually we did get it and it looks so cool. These lenses are super cool, and we really appreciate the opportunity to try them out, even if we only had a camera slider. Um, and I could only imagine how crazy it would be if you had a robot arm that you could use these things on to get them to their fullest potential. But that'll be for another day. And before we go any further, I did really quickly want to let you know about our cinematic video editing workshop called Edit That. Edit That is a self-paced cinematic video editing bootcamp that is guaranteed to actually make you a better editor. This is because it prioritizes getting you time behind the keyboard actually editing. It's built for beginners and intermediate editors, so no matter who you are, you will be learning something. Now, something to note is that we've also actually just made some improvements to edit that in the last couple of weeks, and we've also changed it so that the bootcamp does doesn't start on Monday anymore. But when you purchase edit that, you'll be getting the lessons right then and there so you can start leveling up your cinematic editing skills instantly. If you order within the next 72 hours, you can use the code PROBLENDS at checkout to get edit that for 20% off. And again, if you order within the next 72 hours because we can't do this forever, uh, we will also give you a free one-on-one -on -one call with me where I will give you personalized feedback on your editing. So again, if you want it, now's the time to probably get it. But if you aren't sure if Edit That is right for you, we actually have a free version of Edit That that is three video lessons and three assignments over three days so you can see if Edit That is a good fit. So if you've ever been interested in leveling up your cinematic editing skills, now is the time and the link is down below in the description. Anyways, this is what we came up with for our pizza B-roll sequence with the probe lenses.